Okay, so hi everyone and welcome along to our recording this evening and um, we're going to have a chat today with a former student, Alison Nutley, who completed our occupational therapy assistant course back in 2018-2019. Uh, I'm the guidance counsellor in Cavan's Institute, my name is Orla McGuire and I'm joined today by Alison and Mary and I'm going to hand you over to them to introduce themselves. So Mary, would you like to kick off? Okay, um, Mary Lynch McKenna is my name and I'm the tutor uh, course coordinator for the occupational therapy course at Cavan Institute. Okay, Alison. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alison Natley. I as, I'm a qualified occupational therapy assistant and currently I'm working with rehabilitation with mental health in Loudmead at the present moment as a community integrated worker. Okay. Lovely. Thanks very much for that. Uh, so Mary, do you want to kick off maybe and we'll have a week chat yes. with Alison? OK, thank you very much, Alison, for uh, coming to meet with us today. I'd just like to begin by asking you why you chose Cavan Institute to study occupational therapy assistant. The reason why I chose Cavan Institute, because obviously it's beside me and I had the course which I wanted because I worked as a healthcare assistant for over 20 years. So I wanted to change my career path. And it was something by working with an occupational therapy therapist, may I say, I wanted to do this course. So that's how I come about to be there. Excellent. And have you found in your current employment um, the modules, have any of the modules that you studied on the programme been of assistance to you? And perhaps you could expand a little bit on those. I still have the notes and I've kept the notes because they're vital within my work. Speaking the language, number one, being part of a team and, you know, everybody speaking the medical terms. Um, it was a little daunting at first, but by using my notes and reading up, Yes, every one of them, even like I did never thought I'd be using infection and control, the COVID, but I was back reading my notes on that as well. So, and mental health, then again, I go back to the notes, absolutely were vital to me, as, as every modular was for me, for my job at the moment, yes. And was there particular skills perhaps that you uh, learned as part of the programme that you're now putting into use while in employment? It's essential because... When you're a healthcare assistant for all those years, you're just minding the person and having that conversation with your client. But then when you come part of a team, it's great to have the knowledge mm -hmm. and experience the same language with them, knowing what they're talking about. So you don't, you're not embarrassed and you can, and you can um, voice your opinion using that language. So, yes, it's excellent. And it gives you a lot of confidence in your role, Alison, that, you know, you're you're confident to go in and mix with the team and everything because of the oh, experience. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, that you, you're always learning. That's just for everybody in everyday life. But you can sit back and you can take note of what a consultant's talking about, but you understand it. And as you said, it gives you confidence to voice your opinion that you don't feel silly, I suppose. And uh, because my role was, it was the first time it was ever put in place, I knew I had an awful planning and organising to do. But then you went, go back to the notes and, you know, you use the smart goals, you use the long term goals. And this was just a flow off my tongue down to the course I did. Uh, just when you're talking about that job, I'm just wondering, how did you actually get the job um, that you're currently in? Well, um, when I were looking for work experience, younger people doing the course, they were going into nursing homes. I wanted to come away from that. That was the reason why I was doing this course, to come away from healthcare assistant. So I went then to Loudmead and uh, that would give me two weeks work experience in St. Bridget's in our day. And it was from there that this job came and um, they asked me would I go for it, which I did. And I in that post over a year and a half now. Oh, fantastic. And as part of that, uh, did you find going for the interview for that particular position, what did you find most helpful from the occupational therapy course at Cavan Institute to assist you in that process? Alex? I think that comes down to you, Mary, <laughs> our communication <laughs> skills. <laughs> yeah, what it is, like, I mean, that's just the reality. It was communication skills. It was, you know, I suppose myself and the other mature student, Margaret, we were found interviewing very daunting. Um, you, you know, you give us the right tools to use um, and then again, you bring it forward. And that's what we did. So it's, again, another module, communication skills. It's just, you know, you write them down, you go over them, you have the notes, you have the knowledge 
And that's how interviewing came a little bit more easier than usual to me. Yes, yeah. And it's nice to get the bit of practice in beforehand as well, particularly if you haven't been interviewed for quite a period of time. Well, you know, in our time, I suppose we weren't being interviewed. You just walked in and got the job, you know, yeah. and it was part just that was just part of life at that, at that time. Yeah. And um, would there be any type of software or equipment or computer programs that you might have uh, learned to, as part of Cavan Institute program that you would have used perhaps in your new position? Well, I suppose I'm using Word now and the Microsoft team. Word would be more more my line of work. But mm-hmm. yes, you know, the computer skills, we we'll go back to it again, mature students find that very daunting, you know, and I thought if I press a button and everything's deleted, I'm going to be in serious trouble here. But uh-huh. then again, when you put it into practice of your everyday skills, it comes just second nature to you. And would you say, Alison, that work experience might have assisted you as well in gaining this position? And, you know, how did it help you to get where you are today? Well, the work experience was the opening door for me to get this job. It was just, I suppose, the luck. I was just a very lucky person. But the one thing I did ask was, I asked my meet manager and occupation therapy assistant or therapist. I said to him, like, why did you give me the work experience? Because I'm sure there's so many people. And he says, Alison, everybody sends an email, you phoned. And he said, nobody ever phones anymore. So you showed your initiative by doing that. So that worked on my behalf because of, my, of, I suppose, old school. He said, it's nice to get the phone call and get the conversation I would always be very grateful for what you did for me, yeah. Excellent. So really, the, gaining the, you know, getting in the door through work experience is really uh, one of the key, um, I suppose, components of any programme, particularly. And we can see the benefits and the fruits of it for, for, through your employment now, Alison, really. Yeah. Isn't that it? Yeah. Would you say that you found that the continuous assessment uh, system of assessment for the occupational therapy course beneficial for you rather than Absolutely. the exam? Absolutely, because it kept you on your toes. You know, sometimes if you kind of lo- lose motivation in something that you're doing, when you had assessments coming, you did not lose motivation. You had to keep going, keep going. It's like a roller coaster. It goes very, very slow. You go to the top, and the next thing is all over. It was a year that just went so quickly. But the, um, for me, I found the assessments essential. I found them enjoyable. And when you read back on them, you can see that your work, what you've learned and put into the table of employment wherever you're going. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And would you say the timetable was flexible for you? Very much so. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And when you were in Cavan, just for, with the continuous assessments, um, some students can maybe struggle a little bit with writing assignments if they've been out of education for a while or you know, maybe it wasn't their strong point. Did you avail of any supports in the college to help you with any of that work? Well, I suppose I was very lucky earlier because uh, Margaret Flanagan that did the course with me, we became great friends, but we worked really, really well together. Okay. And uh, I suppose, you know, we can talk the talk you know, and put it down in papers, two different things. Yeah. But the two of us, she was good at something and I'd learned from that. or I was good at something and she learned from that. So, Yes, supporting each other. But the class of 2018, 2019 were superb. Even the younger people, they were all, we all helped each other. There was never a problem, you know, never. Yeah. And I've been chatting to some of the younger students and they would still talk about yourself and Margaret and how well you've all got on. So you didn't feel, uh, you didn't find it difficult being a mature student while in Cavan? Oh, the first day you walked in, you're thinking, what am I doing here? What have I done? You know, but then... That age group are very acceptable. They, you know, they invited us in and it was, it, we all got on. If, you know, we as the mature people would pull them down if they were being just now out of character or something in class. And you know what I mean? So, or they tell us to chill out because we're too serious and just worked, you know. <laughs> and would you say you enjoyed the social aspects, uh, Alison? Because we did have some good fun in class and there was lots of I loved it. Debate. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, we had great fun. Do you know, sometimes I forgot what age I was, you know, <laughs> you, know you just get lost in the moment. <laughs> yeah, it was excellent. Many lively debates, Alison, in that class. <laughs> they were good. They were indeed. And would you say there was guest speakers now that might have had an impact on you um, that we would have had brought in to uh, speak to you about with different topics? Would you say? Yeah, I would say Brenda Cassidy was amazing. She's an occupation therapist. 
found it very interesting. She was very down to earth, even though she's such a successful lady in her business, but um, she deals with children. And uh, I just found her very interesting where her where she went as she started off and where she ended up. I th- she was very inspiring for me, I have to say. Excellent. Fantastic. And if you'd like, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, I, I would. I, I have to say I could not but recommend Cavan Institute. It's down this, it's in, in our county, obviously, but in a broader area, it's fantastic. But everything that you want in it, the tutors are so approachable and I'm absolutely so proud of it. So I just wish you well. Oh, thank well, you. That's really nice to hear, isn't it, Mary? <laughs> it's lovely to hear that. Yeah, but it's true. It's true. Thank you very much. Thank you. I know, as us as tutors, you know, we always want the best for our students, and we do, I think, try our best. But it's lovely to hear feedback like that that you've had such a positive experience. As a mature person, Orla, I would have said it really gave me more. I got more out of Cavan Institute for the year than I did probably do my leave and start all them years ago. Because maybe I was more mature, obviously. But I think the learning aspect was interesting. You were, everybody was there for the one reason. Uh, the young, young late girls and boys, like they didn't look twice at us. You know, not, you didn't feel, oh my God, what am I doing here? There was none of that. Mm-hmm. And that's down to good tutoring and that's down to good management. So I applaud Cavan Institute, I applaud them. They're excellent. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much. much. Absolutely. That's so good. That's great. And thanks so much for taking the time to join us today, Alison. It's been lovely chatting and catching up with you. And we're just delighted that you're doing so well and you're so successful in your career. And we wish you the very best of luck going forward with all of that. And of course, thank, thank you, you Mary, well for, for being welcome. here, for um, asking all those questions. And for anyone at home watching this, we would encourage you, of course, to access Kevin institute.ie to look up some more information on the occupational therapy assistant course and all our other courses that we have on offer our applications are open at the moment um, and if you'd like to get in contact with us we'd be happy to answer any queries that you may have